Hello and welcome to Critical Hit War Gaming. Today we're going to be speed painting cave trolls from the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. If you just bought the Battle and Balance Toon box set, then you're going to have one of these to paint, and I'm going to show you how in 40 minutes. First of all, you need some paints, not that many, but here's the list that you will need. Mechanicus Standard Grey, both Undercoat and the Pot, Rakarth Flesh, Flayed One Flesh, Zandri Dust, Sigor Brown Contrast, Agrax Earth Shade, Shade, Lead Belcher, Nuln Oil Shade and Administratum Grey. First of all, you're going to need to undercoat your model, and for this you're going to need Mechanicus Standard Grey, which is going to be the predominant colour of the model. Next, you're going to need Mechanicus Standard Grey out of the pot, because if you'll notice that Mechanicus Standard Grey undercoat is actually kind of green, as opposed to grey, um, which means you'll need to fix it with a light watered down coat of Mechanicus Standard Grey out of the pot. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, it just makes it easier to uh, correct mistakes later on. Next you'll need Mechanicus Standard Grey and Rakarth Flesh. We're going to start working on some gradients. So the first thing you'll need to do is three blobs of Mechanicus Standard Grey to one of Rakarth Flesh. And then you'll need another blob of Mechanicus Standard Grey in a different little patch. Um, because that's going to form the basis of the next colours we're going to mix. So the first one is going to be three Mechanicus Standard Grey to one Rakarth Flesh. And the other one is going to be one Mechanicus Standard Grey to three Rakarth Flesh. Once your Mechanicus Standard Grey is laid out on your palette, then start adding your Rakarth Flesh in the ratios I've just said. In your left one you're going to have a more grey paint, and in your right one you're going to have a more fleshy coloured paint. Uh, but we're going to be using both of them, so add a bit of water to make sure that they are nice and watered down. What we're going to do now is start creating the gradient where the grey flesh turns into the more fleshy colour as it goes towards his stomach and on his underarms. Here I'm going to be using a detail brush but you can absolutely use any brush, it was just easier for me to show you the effect with this brush. What we're going to do is some just like stripy lines all the way up around the edges where you want the two colours to meet. So we're starting with the most grey of our two colours, so the one on the left on the palette in the video um, a few moments ago, and just keep working along the edge where those two colours are going to merge and then all the way up his arm and just look at the box art to see where those two colours are going to come together. Once you've done doing your flicky lines then fill out the flesh area with the same colour you've just been using. Once finished your troll is going to look like this, we're then going to get a brush and switch to the right hand of the colours we mixed at the beginning and we're just going to do exactly the same thing, you'll see I've switched here to a bigger brush and it doesn't really change the effect, but you're going to work a little bit further in, so don't go right out to the area that you went to with the first layer, you want to come in a little bit and it will make that transition a lot more smooth. Once you've gone round and flicked all your paint out to the edges to create that gradient then fill it in just as you did with the last one. If it turns out that all of my rambling is confusing the shit out here, just look at the video to see what I'm doing. Once you've done that, we're going to use Rakarth Flesh Pure, um, and we're going to do exactly the same thing again. We're just going to flick out to the edges, but not quite as far as the other two layers, and then we're going to fill in all of that colour, and it will, when it's all dry, look like a nice transition between the colours. Next we're going to use Flayed One Flesh, and this is the last of the fiddly bits, so to speak. We're just going to do another layer in exactly the same fashion as we have before. And when you're done, here's what your troll is going to look like. As you can see, the colour switches quite nicely, given that we've not spent a huge amount of time doing it. So once all those flesh areas are done, we can start painting in the other details, which are actually the quickest part of painting the troll. First thing you're going to need is lead belcher, and that's to paint in all of the metallic areas. That's going to be the entire spear or hammer if you've chosen to do the hammer. It's going to be his collar around his neck and the chain he's holding. And also don't forget to do the little armour panels on his pants. With those done, here's what your troll is going to look like. We've got all of those metallic areas done, we've got the gradient done. Now it's time to fill in a couple of the other details, and for that we're going to use Zandri Dust 
to paint his toenails and his teeth. Oh, and his fingernails. Next you can need administratum grey and we're going to do a very fine dry brush of all of the raised areas on his back and on his face. Next you can need Seigel Brown Contrast and that's to paint in the loincloth that covers his troll junk. Next grab some Nuln Oil and this is the easiest part of painting the entire model because you are actually going to paint the entire model with Nuln Oil. Get it everywhere, all over it. Just make sure it doesn't pull too badly in the recesses or start to run down the legs and pull on the base around his feet. And with that your troll is actually complete. Yes it's a very basic paint scheme but it absolutely achieves the job. Trolls that live underground are going to be dirty and sooty so this is perfect. If you've got a way you want to base your army then go ahead and do that but if you're not sure then follow the guide that I'm about to show you. For it you'll need Astra Granite and you'll need to cover the entire base being careful not to completely submerge his feet. Once that's dry, grab yourself some Agrax Earthshade and you're going to put that all over the base, but please do make sure it's dry first. In addition, you can put it all over the weapons that he's holding and his chain uh, and any armour or metallic areas um, because you want it to look like it's old and rusty and dirty. Next you'll need some administratum grey and what we're going to do is do a fine dry brush over the base to make that stonework stand out again. The Agrax Earthshade underneath will make it look nice and dirty as we want Moria to look. Once you've finished then just give the base rim a quick coat of Abaddon Black and you are done. That is your troll finished and ready to get on the table and into some games smashing the crap out of some hobbits and dwarves and the whole fellowship if that's what you want. If this has been helpful please do like, subscribe, leave a comment for anything else you'd like to see and I will endeavour to get it done for you. As always happy wargaming and Merry Christmas because it's the 22nd of December. Thanks all.